Hi, I'm Dr. Rick Archer from the Department of Endodontics at VCU School of Dentistry. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the concept of the buccal object rule. The buccal object rule is a, actually a very easy rule, but it's one that students often have a difficult time understanding. And the reason is, it's because it's difficult to visualize. So today we're gonna to actually do a little exercise where we're gonna visualize it. And we're gonna do something that you can do it yourself at, at home, just with some common objects that are around the house. So our first object is gonna be the tooth and representing the tooth is gonna be this floss holder. And we're gonna say it's tooth number 20 just for the sake of the exercise. So we can kind of get an anatomic uh, kind of relation here. We've got the knife. The knife is gonna be the buckle object. So this is going to be any structure that you would find buckle to tooth number 20. It could be the mental foramen, um, just any kind of anatomic structure that would be there. And then the fork is gonna represent an anatomic structure that's lingual to tooth number 20. So we're talking about something like a bony exostosis um, that you would find there. So these are gonna represent the different anatomic structures as we do the demonstration. Our X-ray beam is actually gonna be this flashlight. And of course, with a flashlight, we can use light that we can visualize where we can't visualize an X-ray beam. And that's where we'll be able to kind of see what's actually going on with the roll. And then our x-ray sensor is going to be this white placard board and this is something that uh, you can get and you can use notebook paper, you can use um, a binder, anything around your house to represent the sensor. So let's go ahead and do the demonstration. So this represents a straight on shot and you can see that as we look at all the objects that are lined up, we can't discern uh, which object is buccal, which object is lingual, everything lines straight up. And this would be pretty typical of what we would get with a straight on shot. So in order to, to discern where the different objects are in relation to each other, we're gonna go ahead and shift the radiograph beam and we're gonna shift it to the left, which would be the mesial. And we're gonna to try to go ahead and shift that 20 degrees. That's the ideal shift. And you can see when we do that, the fork goes to the left or toward the mesial. It's going in the same direction as the beam. Therefore, it's the lingual object. So we use the, the buccal object rule. You've also heard it called the slob rule. Slob standing for same lingual opposite buccal. And so as that beam moves to the, to the mesial, the fork is the object that's toward the mesial. The floss container or the tooth is in the middle and the knife, as you see there, the buccal object would be opposite to the beam or all the way here you see on the distal side. So we can also see now we're gonna to go to the other way. So we're gonna take a shift shot from the distal side and you can see that when we do the distal shift, the fork still is on the same side as where we shifted. So the fork is on the distal side the shift is to the distal side, and that means that the fork is on the lingual. The tooth, again, the floss container there in the middle, and the knife, which is all the way there to the, to the mesial side now, or the left, it, was, it is opposite, again, because it's the buccal object. So the buccal object is opposite to the direction that we took the x-ray beam. Uh, and so you can do this demonstration uh, and get, kind of get it clear in the relationship in your mind to where these objects are. It's very simple to do, and it's something that um, you can do at home and, and understand this rule. Okay, so I hope this demonstration today helped you all out, and I really uh, uh, hope that you can now visualize uh, what the buckle object rule looks like. There's a couple of things I wanna remind you of, though. First of all, is whenever you're making a shift shot, make sure that you record what direction you're making the shift from because you have to know which direction you came in from on your shift. So if you shift to the mesial, write down, shift it to the mesial uh, on your reference point. Uh, make sure that you know that uh, when you're looking at that film, uh, that it's from the mesial. So automatically you see that everything that moves to the mesial uh, you'll know is the lingual structures. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, we're always uh, available. So come by and ask us and we'd love to talk to you about the buccal object rule.